Hello everybody out there, uh, Smurf here. Uh, just want to do a, a little video. I got a lot of questions about my filter and uh, that it's a nitrate factory and it's bad. And it's not bad. It's just uh, it's it's different if you're not used to it. Um, let, let's just go over what I got now. Uh, I got some new stuff as you can see. I got a, a Ghani that I've had for about oh three weeks and it's getting bigger already but it likes my tank got me some paritis nice and happy everything back there it's happy yeah the LEDs they're super bright still guys they're real good they haven't dimmed at all got an elegance coral I just made mad right now so he's a little closed up mushrooms I fragged that guy yesterday and he's obviously opened back up already uh, everything up here is growing Nicely, the colors are so good. Uh, <clears throat> so, as you can see, I do have hair algae and diatom bloom. I I let it happen. Um, don't 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 think it's the the filter. I let it happen. I uh, see he's he's mad. He's covered and everything. Everything else is happy. But anyways, uh, I let it happen. Uh, why would you do something like that to your tank? It's not good so on and so forth well I, I made sure that my night my phosphates and my nitrates were high so I can see what happens and I can have proof of what happens and as you can see there's hair algae all, all over the rocks except for this rock for some reason it likes it doesn't have anything on it the toadstool's covered with it somehow uh, see you can see it right there um it's just a it's a it's a process it's it's a it's a process I'm gonna do uh, because I got uh, some of this I want to see how good it actually works now I didn't have a problem before yeah they were my phosphates were about oh almost a one so there's no real difference now they're pretty high uh, I just want to see how good it works so I can see if it actually is gonna help the reef over time since now I have a full mix reef with some SPS and LPS and of course, you know, non photosynthetics, yada yada yada. Um, look at that zinnia. This is look at just look at it for a second. Look what it's doing. I every day I watch it, I swear those are gonna rip off, but none of them rip off, and it's just one of the wonders of this hobby. Um, my engineer Gobi's doing a job under there. He's been digging that out for a while. Um, I just I, I want to see proof and I want to show you guys proof that the filter is good it's not a nitrate problem it's if you let it happen it will happen so I let it get this way I'm not going to leave it this way obviously I'm going to fix it it's not going to be a hard process so what I'm going to do tonight is do a uh, 15 gallon water change and start dosing that and I'll dose bacteria to get rid of of some of these hair algaes. It's not going to be instant, guys. It's not going to be like tomorrow I'm going to upload a video it's going to show that everything's gone. No, it's going to take a week, two weeks, even longer, depending on how deep everything got settled in. Uh, I just really like this, guys. I'm sorry. Um, it's a process. It's not instant, and it's not going to be perfect. But, as you can see, everything is happy, except for except for that guy. Everything's happy. Everything's open. The polyp extension is real good on everything. Okay. There's just... There's so many different ways of doing things. So many different people telling you different things. You Obviously, you do it your way. It's your tank. But I'm going to kind of show you guys the way I do it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a water change. I'm going to get some more snails to get rid of some of those... Uh, hair algae problems. I'm going to get some more hermit crabs and I'm going to start dosing that phosphate solution. I will obviously keep you guys informed about what I do, what I don't do. And as time goes on I'll show you guys how everything gets happier, how everything grows faster when you keep it clean. He's not clean. He's mad. I understand. You know, Everything else is growing. Oh, well, he's mad. He's opening back up. But yeah, uh, guys, I just really want to let you guys know, 
you know, make sure you have fun with your reef, first and foremost. But please, don't forget, you need to do your husbandry. Take care of it. Water changes. Check the salts. Check the salinity. You guys never forget about salt creep. Never forget about that. Never forget about your nitrates, your phosphates. Don't forget to wash your filter pads if you're going to be using the same one. Don't forget to wash them just, just for good practice. Or replace them. But don't forget, beneficial bacteria is a really good thing. A real good thing for your tank. Everybody has their own opinion. Some say it's good. Some say it's very good. I just say do what you want. Alright guys. We'll see you next time. Smurf out.